Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Carl Brown, welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord at Pybot. Um, this is episode number four, just before we get going I want to uh, specify a few changes. With the shutdown command I made hidden equals true and I also gave it a bit of a description. Um, so you remember when I was talking about the hidden equals true, for something like a shutdown command you probably want that to be there. Um, so uh, yeah, that's essentially just how you work that out. Um, but today we're going to be welcoming mem uh, new members into the server and uh, saying goodbye to members that have left um, and we're also going to be doing stuff with reactions too um, so this is where this on member join and on member remove stuff comes in now you can do some very complicated stuff with this um, we're just going to be keeping it simple and um, just kind of outputting a particular message so what we're going to do if not member dot bot uh, this, you don't have to do um, stuff for a uh, also, interrupting myself. I have a channel called Welcome, so I'll just go there. Um, you don't have to do stuff if not member dot It'll work fine either way, um, but it just it just makes it a bit easier. I'm also going to copy paste then because there's lots of type. Um, plus it's like way off the screen now. So basically, this um, little message here to the Welcome channels: uh, if a non-bot member has joined, it will say uh, Welcome to member guild name. So it will get the name of the guild. And it'll output that. You can also do, I guess we'll do a bit of markdown just to make the message even more longer. Even more longer. Grammar. Um, even longer and more un unnecessary. Uh, and then we'll mention the member. And then we'll mention the general. Oh, we actually need that to be general text, don't we? No, we don't. It's just the voice when I change. Um, yeah, head over to. Um, so what this will do is it will get this channel here and it will output like a, so if you do like this, it will essentially output a link to it that you can go do. That's quite nice. Um, it's just a little clickable link and say hi, hey. Um, and then you can also do stuff uh, if they are not a bot. Uh, if Sublime wants to work, which apparently it doesn't. Uh, else and then just uh, await, oh my god, get dot channel or welcome dot send uh, a new bot uh, member dot name. We don't really need to worry about the display name because I've only just joined, so it's not going to matter. Just joined, and then that's is basically just a a cute little thing. For that and uh, on member remove, it's very much the same thing. So you can just say if not member dot bot um, await get dot channel goodbye because I have a goodbye channel as well. Um, dot set. Oh my good lord! Oh my! <laughs> Why did I type an F? <laughs> F is all the way over there. Maybe I was thinking about an F string. Which is <laughs> God. Um, I think I could just say. Uh, Member dot display name is no longer in the server. Goodbye. <laughs> and then that will just kind of uh, let people know that uh, I them in the test file. I never gave that a message. I just an empty F string. <laughs> oh, I'm great at this. Um, we also need to do the mark down the other side. This will basically just let people know that that person has left the server um, because they are rubbish and we don't want them here anyway. Um, another cool little thing you could do with members and stuff while I'm here, this is, we're now going into unplanned territory here, but uh, it's fairly easy to do. Um, then we can, I don't know, member, we'll just do members. Um, async def uh, member count. Oops. Uh, <laughs> CTX, and then um, you can have a little thing saying oh wait, CTX send. Um, see, th oh, there. We'll just we'll do this. There are uh, let's see. Len. So this len function just counts the length of a list, and then we can have guild dot members. Um, members in. Oh god, <laughs> still another thing. Members in CTX dot guild not guild permissions sublime dot name fantastic <laughs> and then it will just count the members. You can also output like a list of them, I guess. Um, 
so so if you don't want to <laughs> This this probably isn't the uh, the best move, but I'll I'll do it anyway, why not? Um, if you're if you're in a particularly big server, I wouldn't recommend adding this, but you can if you're in a small server and you want to annoy everyone. Um, so current oh god current uh, current members there we go. Um, you can have your thing here, and then here you do. Uh, this okay. So F strings. Here's the thing about F strings. If you if you're uh, creating them with double quotes, anything that needs to be in it needs to be a single quote. Otherwise, it doesn't work. If you need to do another level beyond that, you just need to do the dot format thing. Um, so that'd be new line dot join and then uh, guild dot members and then now essentially you print uh, every uh, every or, or the name, basically, of every member. Oh, create the objects. Oh, God. Okay, hang on. List comprehension time. <laughs> member dot uh, display name for for member in guild dot members. If you don't know what list comprehension is, it's a it's a really nice way of shortening stuff. You should only, although, although you can use it as a for loop replacement, you should only really use it when creating arrays and stuff. Um, so this is actually creating a new array um, of display names for every member in guild.members. Um, so it works exactly the same. So what that as function is essentially doing is for member in guild.members um, uh, display, or we'll just it's not defined, but whatever, we're going to be getting rid of it. Uh, dot append member dot display name. And it's just it's just a really convenient, easy way of doing something like that. Um, if you're not creating um, a list out of it, don't use it because it will just it will it will make a new array full of nuns, <laughs> uh, full of non values, and uh, it's just going to waste memory. The same thing with dictionaries too. You can do it with dictionaries, although. It's a, a bit odd. Um, but yeah, if we just uh, shall we? Yeah, that's, that's actually that's actually good to go in it. <laughs> oh no, it's not. I've messed the thing up. Oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. You see what I mean about having uh, double quotes and single quotes. This is the only problem with f strings. If you're not comfortable using f strings, then don't use them. But for something like this, you can uh, do. Uh, there are uh, uh, members in to do, and then dot format, uh, and then len, get, and then all the other stuff. So you can do it like that if you want. Um, I just prefer to use f strings because they're just a bit easier to read for me. So f string cannot include a backslash. Well, I learned something new today. <laughs> Let me just rewrite that string and I'll get back to you. There we go. Genuinely did not know that was a thing. <laughs> Guess I've never had to put a backslash in a in an F string before. Um, but yeah, I do apologise for that. I genuinely didn't know that. <laughs> so I learned something new. Uh, let's see, see what turns on. It does. Um, so we can now we'll test our commands real quick. So member count. Oh, that was just members, wasn't it? Uh, there are three members in Botchadora, so that includes bots as well. Um, uh, there is actually a way you can do it without that. And there we go, can't remember. It ignored me for some reason. Why did it ignore me? Eh? <laughs> Guild on members. <laughs> it ignored me. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, fine. Fine. We won't use that bleeding command. <laughs> Stupid idea, anyway. <laughs> I came up with that with an idiot. <laughs> um, so yeah, while well, I'm here, uh, me dot command a name equals humans. So we can actually, I'll just do a little thing saying how you can get human members because a lot of them um, bots just have member counts and they include bots in it as well. And it's genuinely really quite annoying. I just put a part of a bleeding token in the code. That was fun. 
Uh, so await CTX. We're going to use more list comprehension. So I know the list comprehension just went away, but it's coming back. Um, uh, there are doo -doo, and then we'll humans in CTX dot guild. The the dot name. Uh, so we'll do len and then we'll create a new list comprehension. So uh, member for uh, member in guild dot members if not member <laughs> member dot bot. Um, so you can with the list comprehension you can do um, kind of conditions as well. And uh, if you wanted to do bots, you just do member dot bot. And then that will output uh, should output two. So you'll go to members. Come on, there we go. Members, three members, and the humans. <laughs> if I could type, uh, two humans. Fantastic. Um, so now that we've kind of got our, our member commands out of the way, we'll actually uh, test out the thing. We've done the logic for the thing already. So if I just kick my test account, because um, it 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 doesn't no matter how they leave. Um, so I don't really know if there's a way, well you can access the admin log, but there's no easy way of, of, of filtering the actions. Um, but you can get the bot to access the admin log and it will, uh, let's see here, oh the, the audit log, sorry. Just, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> you're, just com you're just making this worse for me, streamer mode. There we go. So you can see um, that I can access very yeah. You can actually get the bot to, to look at that and um, work that out. We're not going to, to get it to do that though. Um, because I've personally never done that before and it just sounds incredibly complicated to do. So if I just go into the welcome real quick, I'm going to have to add myself back in on the tablet. So do bear with me a second. Um, boom. Hey, we're in. Uh, welcome to bot tutorial. Head over to general. Say hi. If I click this, hey, and then I can say hi. Uh, I can go over and say hi. It put me in rules, which would be awkward. Um, <laughs> whatever, it's fine. And I can say hi. Hi. See, I can say hi, and everything's fun, and everything's funny. And uh, with this, um, you can also give uh, members a role when they join. Uh, with the member join, so you can say, uh, let's see, um, uh, await member dot edit uh, roles equals, and then, so <laughs> there's no easy way to set roles to add add or remove a role in the Discord API. Um, so the way you do this is you create a new list, you'd automatically append all of the members' roles, which I'm just realising you probably don't actually need to do if they're just joining, do you? No, essentially what uh, what this uh, what this will do is it'll um, it will populate this list with all of the members' roles, which is what this asterisk does. Um, so it's probably better to do that anyway. Although you don't, you don't really don't need to do that. And then get dot role, and then I don't know member if you have a a role called member, which I don't. So we're gonna we're just gonna comment that out. Um, we are gonna be doing stuff with roles though, so that I'll let you come back into play. Um, but you can do fun stuff like that with, with it as well. I don't think you can add roles to bots. Last time I tried it gave me an error saying I couldn't do it. Um, so that would be interesting. You can experiment with that if you want. If you can do it then let me know. Um, because you definitely didn't used to be able to. Um, which is very annoying. We're going to be doing stuff with reactions now. Seeing as 14 minutes in already. Good grief. Um, I might do it as a separate video. That took longer than I expected. We'll do reactions next time. We'll do a, we'll do a separate thing because I was expecting the welcome thing to take like five minutes, and it took, just took fourteen. So you know, as you do, I don't want these videos to be too long. Um, so yeah, as always, if you have any feedback on the series, and let me know uh, down below. I'll be it'll be really appreciated if you have any way any ways that I can improve. Um, if you have any questions or anything, then let me know as well, and I'll get on. I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but yeah, next time we'll be dealing with the reaction stuff because reaction stuff—it's a bit, it's a little more complicated. Um, 
though hopefully it's not too complicated. If you don't want to do stuff with reactions, then you can just skip the entire next video. Um, and we will probably, I haven't actually planned a video beyond that, so we'll probably do, maybe do like stuff with the database, because we are going to be doing stuff with databases. Um, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I'll see you then when we do that, but until then.